Hey, Michael. How are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm good, man. I'm good. Um, man. So, uh, so this, this morning, I, well, first off, um, you didn't travel this, this weekend for Easter. We already talked about that, but you may be traveling soon. So, uh, so good luck on your travels, man. Um, Thank you. Yeah. So uh, for everybody out there, welcome. This is Kickstart Mission Discovery's Daily Devotional. Uh, we come on here every morning at 11 a.m., uh, just like we do on a mission trip, and just go over God's Word just a little bit, and uh, and hopefully this kickstarts our day in the right direction. Uh, Michael, we have a problem, man. Uh-oh. What's yeah. that? Yeah. Well, um, the problem is we are all quarantined right now. Yeah, and uh, and and while we're quarantined, we might have trouble coming up with reasons to be thankful. I, you know, that 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 happens, especially when when your life gets disrupted and things aren't aren't what you think they should be. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, Devaney Chapman is here today, and she uh, she Stu, remember Stu from last week. Stu, yeah, yeah, he had a he, great message. Yeah, he had a great message. We'll probably visit that again sometime soon. But uh, Deb's here. This is his wife. They have four kids. They're in San Antonio. Uh, she's got some good news for us. How to how to uh, to be have gratitude in this season. So, um, if do me a favor, if you have a pen and uh, or pencil and piece of paper handy, pick that up. She's got some great ideas at the end of this. She's going to tell us how to do a gratitude journal, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, so Devaney Chapman, uh, we're going to click over to her. Take it away. Hi, guys. My name is Devaney Chapman. I live near San Antonio, Texas with my husband, our four kids, and our new puppy, Chaco. My husband and I recently went to Guatemala just right over spring break um, with Mission Discovery, and we had a great time serving the people of Guatemala, and I'm just so thankful that we got to go there and do that together and then be able to fly back home in the midst of coronavirus and all the things that were going on back here. Um, that word thankful is something that the Lord keeps impressing on my heart as uh, we're staying home and we're quarantined and we're trying to be safe. Um, I just am reminded that we need to be thankful for the things that the Lord has given us. And so that's what I kind of want to talk to you about today is that thought of thankfulness. So there's many times where I feel like God will impress something on my heart through my kids. So we have four kiddos, three boys and a girl, and my daughter is definitely the sassy pants of the bunch. Um, she likes things her way, and so uh, it was her birthday a few months ago, and I bought her some earrings, and I thought she would love them. I picked them out in Disney World, waited to give them to her till it was her birthday, and I just knew she was going to love them because they were Minnie Mouse and had gemstones. Give them to her. She tosses them over her shoulder, keeps opening gifts, and I'm like, oh, okay. Well, that was nice. Well, a little bit later, after all gifts were open, I said, hey, look at these beautiful earrings I got you. I picked them out for you, and I waited to give them to you. And she was like, eh, they're not dangly earrings. I don't want them. And my heart was like, ouch, first of all. And then I felt like the Lord impressed on my heart that that's how he feels when he gives me a good gift, and I am not thankful for it. And so I think there's a number of times where I've been given something amazing and I just kind of brush past it or I don't think twice about it and I, maybe I'm just more expectant and expected to get that, so I forget to thank him. Um, I've been reading in Colossians, Colossians 3, and I love that passage of scripture, but this time as I've been reading it, these words of thankfulness, gratitude, give thanks, out at me. And so I want to read this to you, Colossians 3, 15 through 17. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace, and be thankful. Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to the Lord your God with gratitude in your hearts. Whatever you do, whether in a word or in deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Now, I've read those verses before, but I just have never seen it through the eyes of thankfulness and just that reminder. And that's, you know, God's word is alive and living and active. And then when I see stuff like this and when I'm like, oh, I never saw thankfulness and gratitude in here, it just reminds me of that. But um, 
as we go through our days and as we might be scared or uncertain about what's going to happen, I just think that God wants us to be thankful for what he's given us and what we have and just how he's providing for us every day. And, you know, I was told this one time, what if the only thing you had today, the only things you had today were the thing or the things that you thanked God for yesterday? When I heard that, I was like, oh, I might not have very much because there's a lot of times I'm not very thankful. Um, when November comes around and we make like thankful trees and stuff, sure, I'll write down all the things. But on a regular basis, I don't thank the Lord for very much. And so just right now, I'm thankful for so many things. I'm thankful for getting to go on walks with my family and picking wildflowers. And I'm thankful that we had food to eat and shelter overhead. And I'm just seeing things through a different lens right now. Just thankful, thankful, thankful for all he's given me. And I don't want to take any of that for granted. Um, one of my friends, Ashlyn, was teaching preschoolers. And they were writing down things that they were thankful for. And a little girl said, stairs. And Ashlyn kind of tried to figure out what she meant. And the girl just kept saying stairs. And finally she said, stairs. And Ashlyn's like, oh. Um, she told me that it was just a reminder to her to be thankful for even the simplest of things, like stairs. Because we know we all need them. So I just want to encourage you today, uh, even though it's not November, it's not Thanksgiving, get a sheet of paper out. Write down all those things you're thankful for. And when you start kind of going down that spiral um, rabbit hole, that dark place, remember what God's given you. Remember to be thankful. He loves you, and he just has so much for you. And when we just start feeling that, like, ugh, pit of despair, remember, he is a good God. He loves you. Be thankful for all he's given you. He gave you the blood of Christ to cover you. Michael, what a fantastic message, man. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thankful for that message. You are, you? are you? Do you have a lot of gratitude for that message? <laughs> that message? <laughs> um, man, yeah, it's awesome. A gratitude journal. Uh, you can research all kinds of different ways to do gratitude journals. I was in a, in a rabbit hole of gratitude journal um, uh, research earlier today, just kind of after uh, reviewing this message a little bit, and it was just really cool to see uh, what you can do. So, um, and I love her comment, man. Just if you ever get in a dark place, and I encourage people to do this on a mission trip, I say, you know what? If you ever get in a dark place in life, remember how God spoke to you here in Jamaica or Guatemala or Rapid City or wherever we are serving in that moment. Remember how God spoke to you there. The same thing is true for a, for a gratitude journal, man. It's like if you ever find yourself wading in those waters, pick up that journal and look at what you're thankful for. Count your blessings, you know? Yeah, that's great. That's that's really good advice. Yeah, and that's Devaney Chapman. Uh, I'm going to... Um, a devotional uh, email me my email is Nathan at mission discovery.org you can uh, look at that in the comments there Michael do you have any announcements for us what about the tornado uh, Nashville tornado team that you're pu pulling together um, just excited for the summer excited to, uh, that we'll uh, you know as soon as things are are kind of lot, uh, released and, and people can kind of get back into the normal swing of things that we'll be hitting the ground hard uh, working with some really great organizations here in Nashville. So we, we've been doing a lot of prep work, uh, doing some online conference calls with other organizations. Um, so we're excited. We don't have anything, you know, big to announce. We, we would love to start getting sign-ups. Um, so we're going to put dates up on the website for weeks available. So that's, I guess, the biggest announcement is look for dates as we kind of move towards the summer. Okay. Yeah, everybody said that my sound went out, and I'm blaring now. My sound went out whenever I went to the image, so I'll go to it again. Hey, 
this is the image for today. Uh, I was muted earlier. So uh, just take this to your small groups, take this to your dinner table, uh, whatever you do to meet with people right now, take this with you. You can go, go to uh, Miss Dish Trips on Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, uh, even Pinterest. And, uh, and download this and take it to your people. So uh, yeah, start a gratitude journal. This is awesome. Um, thank you so much, Dev. Michael, it's good to see you, man. Good to see you too, man. I'll see you uh, again. Hopefully someday we'll, yeah, hopefully someday <laughs> we'll see each other in person. Yeah, I'm excited for that day. I'm thinking, man, what if we're in the conference room one day and we're actually like side by side and, and yeah. this, uh, this thing, it, it's gonna be awesome. So looking yep. forward to it, man. See you tomorrow at 11 a.m. All right. All right. Later.